Well, hey everybody, Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guy's life, coming to you from the Harney Pond Canal on Lake Okamachobe. You can see the beautiful sunrise here this morning. Yeah, Captain Dave snoozed his alarm one extra time this morning. Wound up getting here about 15 minutes after daylight, but that's all right. Uh, just, uh, we actually got a little fun fishing going on this morning. Um, got a guide trip later today, um, and uh, I got a few dozen shiners, and I'm gonna do a little bit of prospecting. I've got, uh, I've got Mr. Swearingen with me, Rick. Of course, Rick is the proud owner of a 10.6 and a 10.9 in the last 12 months. And uh, he and I are gonna go out here this morning and just kind of fiddle around. Day two of the Costa event and uh, with the FLW and uh, their weights haven't been stellar. Uh, I wanna say, last, last I heard, I, 19 pounds was, was uh, leading the event, but that, that may have changed toward the, late, the end of the last flight. I didn't, I didn't catch that, but anyway, man, we're just gonna have some fun. We'll bring you along. Captain Dave, stay with us. We're, we're out here on Lake Okeechobee this morning, and you know, we've dealt with people coming up on top of us and just, just all sorts of things, but, you know, not not to be dissuaded, because I got my boy, I got my boy Rick with me, and oh. <laughs> I can't see the camera. <laughs> no, no, it's there, it's there, it's there. Oh, okay. so, so, so Rick has gotten himself what I think is probably, probably close to four and a half, maybe five and a half, depends on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, Rick's got Rick's got big hands, so he kind of does a fish uh. injustice. But, but uh, anyway, <laughs> listen, listen. Just another day, right? It's not another day. Another, you another, another day, you got something special. Another day, place. another dollar's worth of shiners. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's funny is we, we, well, there's lots of funny things to tell you, but anyway, we're going to put her in a live one and let her catch her breath here, and we're going to put a weight on her, but golly, man. Thanks, Captain Dave. You're the man. You're, you're, I appreciate you're, you're, you, man. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got Rick digging them out here. Let's see what we got. Hold on one right, second. So. So here we are. We're we're filming. We're filming. Okay. All right. A little editing there. All right. So listen, listen. Rick is. What what, what do you got? What, what was the last? What was the last name? What's my was last it H? Name? What was your last name? Oh, uh, Henry. 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 Right. So yeah, let's see. Henry H I J. So it's eight. That's eight fish. He's got eight fish, right? So sorry. Hold him up there, dude. All right. Hold him up tall. All right. He's got a. You got a five eight and one that's probably about four here. Not getting your head in the picture very well here, but but uh, anyway, yeah, he's, he's got he's got a big head. See, oh, you know what? I, I just remembered something. They get they made this new thing here where I can. Oh yeah, that's much better. Yeah, I, I forgot I have the new wide angle special special features on the camera, right? Okay, there you go, dude. Absolutely gorgeous fish. All right, we're gonna get a couple pictures here as well, but but listen, 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 listen. Guys, life is good. It's a guide's life. It's, it's, it's a guide's life. It's a great life. Huh? I can share it with you. You bet. You it's know. good stuff, man. I thank you so much. I love this, man. All right, listen, listen. We're going we're gonna, to uh, we're gonna put a head on this thing here pretty quick, and we're going to get some snapshots of these pictures. But, Captain Dave, I got some tips for you, too. We'll share you in a little bit here as well. I got some ideas on how to hook these these one too many small shiners that we've been dealing with. All right? We'll be right back. Thank you. All right, guys, I wanted to show you... Uh, one of the problems, oh, look, I lost it here. All right, one of the problems we've been dealing with here, I say problem, no problems, I don't know, but one of the issues with the shiners has been, you're getting a lot of small shiners right now. Uh, you get either a great big mule choker or you get one of these guys here that's just real small. And I'll tell you what I have found. I have been hooking them just behind the dorsal fin here. And, and I'm showing you this because that really adds, it, it really extends the life of these smaller of these smaller shiners. I go right through the back of the dorsal here. You can see it right here. All right, I've got my plastic, I got my plastic stopper that I normally use, and then I got my little piece of worm on the other side that I again normally use. And I've caught, I, I've rigged all of my shiners this way today. Now you can see this little guy here, he's he's about donezo. But but what happens here is because because the uh, um and I've I've been fishing with that shiner for a little while, but Obviously, if you're not sticking the thing in the face, uh, you're gonna you're, it's gonna live a, lot, a, lot, a little bit longer. Now, the other thing we've had is, uh, and it's not so much an issue today, but uh, I've had a few days here where the, the, the birds get on top of you. And when you throw a shiner, uh, a weightless shiner out into onto a flat and you've got birds on there and, and you hook it in the nose, a lot of times that, that shiner takes a minute to kind of gather itself. Um, 
you know, before it gets out and, uh, uh, and, start, and starts fishing for you. And when that happens, um, you know, the, the birds are going, they're going to eat it. <laughs> they're going to beat the snot out of it. Two bucks a piece, that, that can be problematic, to say the least. Now, um, so that, that's my tip today. That, that's my shiner tip today. What you got doing? What you got going over there, bro? Oh, you got fish rolling over there? All right. Uh, anyway, uh, so, so that's, that's the big tip that, that I wanted to give you with, with dealing with these small shiners and, uh, and dealing with the birds. It, fishing out here on Harney Pond Flats here, the Harney Pond Canal Flats, it's just great fun. It's easy. Uh, you throw it out. Uh, a lot of times we'll sit right on a spot for a bit and then, uh, and then we'll pull the poles up and just glide just a little ways and then put it back down again. But if I get out of the bite, I have found that, boy, I, I, I want to get back on my motor and I want to get back into an area where I've marked fish and where I've caught fish. And, and then the bite usually starts again. So as much of kind of roaming around as you might think, it's actually, it's, there's some pretty specific spots that, that tend to be producing better than others. Now we've had, Rick has caught eight, Rick. I think you got eight, right? And I believe I've, A, B, C, D, I remember D. So I've caught four. So we, we boated 12 fish. Um, and, uh, and, you know, and we've had a really nice time. We have not fished that hard in the last hour or so. We've just been kind of putzing around. Um, but, but it's been, but it's been, it's been a really nice morning. You know, coupled with the fact that Rich has got, uh, Rick got himself a, uh, a five, eight and uh, five, eight, right. And I, the other one we didn't weigh, but it was probably three and a half or so, at least, you know, I would think. Now I want to, I do want to talk to you about something else. And this is kind of on a, uh, on a personal, in, personal note for me um uh, you know this time of year you know we've got we've got of course we've got the coast uh, the flw's uh pros are here right now and and they're fishing and and i you know what it, it kind of creates a, a, an opportunity for you to to kind of test your metal just a little bit um you know we all have a tendency to get after each other a little bit if somebody gets a little too close to us and and, and that kind of stuff and but but man the minute somebody's in trouble we're all jumping on board and trying to help each other out aren't we <laughs> so you know i i uh, uh we, when we were when we were weighing rick's big fish and you know we're holding them up and whatnot i literally had three tournament boats that got within 75 feet am i exaggerating rick i don't know i i no exaggeration one guy literally made a cast that landed 15 feet from my trolling motor and, and it's like guys come on man you know, now Rick and I are just out here fun fishing. You know what I mean? We're friends, we're enjoying our time together. But you know, if, if you got a guide out here, there's a guy over here, he's earning a living today, you know? And most of the time, I, that's me as well. Um, you, you, can't, you can't go taking a dump in somebody's office. You know, you gotta, you gotta give them space. Yeah, what you're doing is important, but what they're doing is important too. And just, I guess part of what I'm trying to say is that I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself um, that I didn't say a word. We just kind of released our fish and we just kind of got up and, and kind of got out of there. Um, but it worked. And, and I guess what I'm trying to say is that's the way you want to handle yourself. If, if somebody comes in on you and they've got some kind of mental emergency and they feel like they need to get right on where you're fishing, um, it's far better to just let them do that than it is to create a fuss. Because at the end of the day, it's the kind word that turns away the wrath. You know, it's the... Uh, it's the act, the good faith act that, that keeps the peace. And, and that's what we need to do. And we got to stay connected to our maker. And to do that, we got to keep, we got to keep the peace. So Captain Dave Schneider, that's my tips for the day. It's a guide's life. It's a great life. Uh, best of luck to all the tournament anglers out here. And I, I don't know, there's my phone over there. Um, and, and to the, and, you know, and to their safety, of course, during the event, um, there's no secret we've probably seen 25 different tournament boats up here uh in this area the last couple of days and, and guys are catching them we we just saw a guy boating a nice fish right up here looked like the co-angler or the, the non-boater caught a real nice one here in front of us just a bit ago um it's a guy's life it's a great life guys hit the like button for me hit the share button if you if you're not sharing things god hit the subscribe button hit the do whatever you gotta do but listen 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 listen, listen. most of all thanks for watching and for those of you who've got trips in the can so to speak i haven't forgotten about you i've got three guide trips right now where i've got nice video from and and i'm working on it guys i, I promise you um and uh, and those things are coming captain dave schneider see you later rick
you later, Rick. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you, you did it right. You did it right. <laughs> that was that was uncharted water, my man. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you guys later. Thanks. <laughs>